Hi, I'm Mark Cook from Dollinghouse Construction. We're gonna talk about retaining wall costs, repairing versus replacing. Let's get started by diving in the costs of replacing retaining wall. First thing, you have to remove the retaining wall. You're dealing with uh, uh, retaining walls that are on slopes, so you're having to shore up the dirt behind it, as well as all the labor involved and then keeping the safety as paramount for your crews to start jackhammering the retaining walls and start hauling the, the, the loose material into dumpsters in the front of the house. Sometimes you're gonna have tractor access, sometimes you're not. But let's just say a retaining wall is eight feet tall and it's 50 feet long. So that would require, once you remove the entire retaining wall, a vertical pier every eight feet, and then a helical tie back every eight feet. That's gonna go at a 20, 30 degree angle to stop the lateral movement of the brand new wall. Then you're gonna have to create a rebar cage, and then you're gonna have to pour brand new concrete to encase the piers, and then make a brand new wall. So that cost is about $1,000 a foot for the brand new wall, and that includes the removal and the dumpsters and involved. Then you're gonna have about $2,500 for the vertical helical piers and about $3,000 for the helical tie back. So we calculated six of each, so you're looking at about ninety to hundred thousand dollars to remove and replace. Now it's time to dive into the cost of repairing a retaining wall. There's usually an engineering engineer involved with permitting and so our guys just follow the plan in place. First things first is you have to core the holes. So you have to core the, the holes through the existing wall in order to install the tie backs and then put a whaler beam or plates to connect them. So that's about three to four hundred dollars for the core, okay? So if you're dealing with a 50 foot wall, we'll keep this in mind. There's gonna be about six of those. So that's start, let's start out at three thousand dollars. Then you're gonna do a vertical helical every eight feet attached to the bottom of the footing. And then that's gonna have to be installed and then you're gonna do the tie backs through the core holes that we did earlier and then attach a whaler beam or a um, these, either these foundation plates bolted into the wall because you want to cover what's currently there and you need to attach it with a whaler beam so it's stopping the lateral movement. We're not going to pull this wall back necessarily. We're going to keep it in place and make sure that it's never going to move again. You could do it for about forty to sixty thousand dollars, I would say, to repair it. You're almost half the cost of repairing as opposed to replacing. I hope this video is really helpful for you when it comes to the decision you make with removing and replacing or repairing your existing retaining wall. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Dollinghouse Construction. We look forward to working with you.